All right, well, you know, Bob Kessling said something I think all of us agree upon. We didn't, we had no idea how great it would be with Rick Barnes here, not only in Knoxville with the community, but also with this basketball team. Absolutely, it certainly made an impact. And Emily DeVoe talked to Coach just a few moments ago. Well, Tennessee fans are hoping for a season sweep against Vanderbilt tonight. But, Coach, I think some fans are feeling a little bit defeated after that loss against Kentucky. How do you go into this game and keep your team up and shoot for another win? Well, you know, as much as I think you want to win every game, I think anybody that's been in college basketball, as long, certainly as long as we have, uh, you realize that that's hard to do. And, uh, you know, we got beat at Kentucky, plain and simple. We didn't uh, do the things that we uh, – we're expecting to do, but that one's over behind us. We came back and treated it just like you would every game and looked at it, saw the mistakes that we made, came out, tried to fix them yesterday, get on to Vanderbilt and see what we can do tonight. We already have one win against Vandy. You guys doing anything different going into tonight? There's always adjustments that will be made. It really because you know what, they're going to make some adjustments and there will be some in-game adjustments that we all have to make. And uh, But the real focus is can we get back and, and be the team that we know that we can be. And this is a team that you've really seen grow over the last couple of years. Talk to me about, I mean, this team as a family. Well, we are a close-knit group of guys, and I give it to them because you know, they spend a lot of time together, which sometimes that can be good or bad, yeah. but the fact <laughs> is, you know, they like each other, and they, they, uh, they work hard. They, they do everything that we ask them to do, and a lot of guys go above and beyond what you ask them to do, and that's really the reason we are probably where we are right now, and uh, we just know that uh, with whatever time's left in this season, we still want this team to be the best it can possibly be, and that means you go into everyday practice focus. You come out tonight and got to have that same focus. And I know your wife went to UT, correct? She did. She was here for one year and graduated from here with a degree in biology. And uh, so she is a UT alum. She's going to be pretty proud at the, the legacy that you're leaving here, huh? Well, again, it's it's been a lot of people. It's not. Uh, it's never just one person. You know, we the, the university one, we have a great university that we represent. We have... Great boss in, in Philip Former. We have you know great leadership at the top of the university, and and uh, then you come here. They've given us a chance to really put a great staff of people around us, and uh, obviously the players get a lot of credit for that too. Guys, now former ball Tony White. He's battling leukemia right now. You visited him in the hospital. Um, why have you made a point in, in mentioning him and, and really helping out with well, him? Well, you know, when you, once you're a ball, you're you're a VFL for life, and and we know that. And and, and Tony, I, I was in the league actually and coached against Tony one year when I was an assistant at Alabama, but. Uh, Chris Lowe was the first guy that uh, had brought my attention to it, and Chris has been an unbelievable friend of Tony, and, and so Chris and I have made those trips over there. Grant Williams went with us one time, but uh, he's a volunteer, and I'm, and I'm just really excited the way our family has embraced what he's going through, and he's a fighter, and uh, he's going he's gonna to whip this thing. Absolutely. Well, I know you got to get ready for tonight's game, so we'll let you go. We'll send it back to you guys.